All right, YouTubers. Um, this is uh, the second phase to the battery charger, uh, the V Max tank tanks, um, twelve volt seven stage smart battery charger. You know, this is uh, part two of it. Um, if you uh, if you happen not to see the first uh, the part one. I'll encourage you to go to part one from the start so they can able to understand this video. This is a series uh, 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 video I'm doing a review on these um, V Max tanks, V Max tank 12 volt, seven stage smart battery charger, 15 amp. This is a very good charger. And I stop on the part one. Well, the the charging mode was on number four, which is um, absorption mode. And uh, now it has already passed the uh, the other stages. Um, currently, currently is on. Uh, currently is on the uh, uh, number seven, step seven which is the uh, maintenance charging so you already passed the recondition recondition which is a uh, uh, six you know so um let me make it clear for you guys uh who are just joining me into the part two of this it has a seven stage the first one is just um removing um harmful sulfated deposits before charging begins and part uh, the second stage is going to be a soft soft start increases battery's life by gently starting to charge the battery and um, uh, the third stage is going to be a main charging battery main charging battery is charged to 80% and uh, uh, stage four is going to be a top charge. Your vehicle can be started after this step. And uh, stage five is going to be a testing whether the battery can remain or ba battery can retain a charge. And stage six is recondition, reconditions deeply uh, discharged batteries. So it reconditions the batteries deeply discharge the batteries as well after being charged it reconditions the battery and deeply discharge the batteries again at that same time and maintenance charging this is the the, the stage that um, this uh, smart charger is at right now so if you guys are wondering what uh, the model number of this charger is going to be a v max tanks bc1215 that's the model number so it's a 12 volt 15 amp battery battery charger smart charger so um um if you just happen to join me right now into this video i'll encourage you to go back to part one of this video series at least you can able to understand what's going on here this is the battery i've been demonstrating on um this is um a high cycling uh, interstate battery workaholic is a 31 dash M H D that's the uh, the brand uh, the metal um, uh, CCA is a cold cranking amp is a 950 amp hour a re reserve capacity which is the RC that stands for reserve capacity is a 195 amp hour reserve capacity so if you want to know more about this battery i'll encourage you to go to um interstate battery uh it is a workaholic and high cycling these are very powerful battery they use for um those big semis you know that um maybe uh 24 18 wheelers or whatever and uh you know it takes a lot to start a diesel engine so and these are deep cycle batteries um sla so 
Um, I'll encourage you if you want to have a good battery. I'm not going to go with um, those uh, Walmart batteries or anything like that. No, it doesn't worth it. You know, don't waste your money. Get some good battery. You know, this is a 117 amp hour battery. 117 amp hour battery. Okay. So let's go back pretty soon from now. There we go. We just missed that. It just jumped right away to the battery is full. Now I'm going to bring you closer to um, the battery. You can hear how the battery is pulsing. Like a little tap, tap, tap. Listen closely. Do you hear that? The battery is pulsing. It's just sending some impulse to the battery to maintain it. Interesting, huh? So these are all, you know, be careful when you deal with batteries. You make sure the battery is, you know, for danger. And uh, you have to use a shield um, <clears throat> eyeglasses, you know, for explosion. And this one will cause blindness, especially sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is really bad, can burn your skin, you know, it can get you, you no know, blindness and severe burns. So if that happened to you, I encourage you to use a uh, flush your eyes with, don't rub it. If uh, it happens to be like your berries are boiling, especially for people that use this uh, 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 flooded acid berries, when they go into equalizing mode, they tend to boil all the time. So what you do when that happen to you, make sure anytime you work on those kind of batteries, wear some protective glasses, you know, and it produce some gases, you know, it smells just like a sulfur or something. So remember like a rotten egg and um, make sure you put a, a mask into your nose because uh, those acid gases, a hydrogen gas that's really not good for you can cause cancer. As a research, how people, um, scientists re research. That's why you don't keep batteries with you. Like those kind of batteries, like a flooded acid batteries, because of equalization. When you equalize them, you tend to pour a lot of um, amperage and uh, voltage into those batteries. They tend to boil. And that's how they produce some fumes. And by boiling all the time, you have to make sure you check your battery uh, water levels and make sure you add... Um, uh, distilled water don't just put any kind of uh, water into those kind of batteries because it's going to ruin them and um, that's why I chose not to use uh, 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 flooded acid batteries you know sea lead acid batteries are really expensive SLAs AGM they're expensive but they're kind of friendly you can have them in your house and you can have them internally you know because of the temperature uh, uh, control and uh, you don't have any problem with that. So uh, it doesn't mean they are no bad. They are bad. All of them are bad, you know, because they, even that, they have a little hole that the, 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 the gas is normally uh, 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 um, uh, comes out from, evaporate from, but they are not as bad compared to um, the flooded acid batteries, which is, they're really good. Those ones have a lot of high amperage on them. And compared to these ones, because mostly golf cart batteries are 6 volt, and they tend to have, some of them run up to about um, 400 and some amps, so, you no know, three, 200 and something. So they tend to have a high, 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 high amperage, and uh, which you can connect to uh, series, six, two 6 volt batteries to uh, 24 volt. So that's the good, the good thing about these batteries, you can buy individual, but uh, those 6 volt batteries, you have to always buy in pair. You have to buy in twos or you have to buy in fours. If you want to do a, a 12 volt system, you have to buy two of them so they can have a, a, a 12 volt, two six volt battery for 12 volt. And you have to buy four for 24. You have to buy eight for 48. So, you know, it depends. Everybody has a different thing or different uh, setup for his, his own application, which I respect. And they can do whatever they want. And this is what they want to do. That's good. Everybody has their own 
opinion about doing things you know i like that and so just respect each other on things we do on all certain things and just let's maintain that whatever people like that's what they like or maybe that's what they can afford all right this is all on float full and float uh mode right now i would totally uh, uh recommend this charger if you have any issues with it and i would like to hear your concerns because i never had any problem any problem this one charges my 100 my 900 amp power battery bank just a 15 amp charger if i deplete my batteries into a uh, 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 50 percent or 60 percent i can charge my 900 amp hour battery when i was running my 12 volt system in eight hours in eight hours so imagine this little guy can do that but the only thing they happen to have the 24 volts now which i end up uh, finding out in a couple years later like i already have this like i was telling in my first video um this was the first one back then because i bought um, um uh, uh, a friend of mine um uh, bought some batteries you know we gotta ship them all the way i gotta ship them all the way to africa for 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 him which is a v max tanks batteries which is a 12 volts and uh 100 and uh 200 and 250 amps batteries which is uh four of them total and uh it's uh 265 dollars a piece uh, i remember uh um uh he bought them from amazon with uh um uh 1.5 kilowatts of uh of uh solar ray renergy so um well i have to uh i ship everything but uh later i was surfing the internet i found out uh vmax tank uh smart charger uh they have that too as well so i decided to uh purchase the, the charger so i can able to utilize and try it and see how this charger works because if the batteries are good and they might build a very good charger and definitely they got a very good charger okay all right um um it has a disconnect here on and off and with a fan and um uh, a voltage input voltage 110 volt ac 50 to 60 hertz at 415 watt uh, um, output is a 12 volt dc 15 amp and the fuse is a t 5 amps at 250 volt ac okay these are all the specs i'll recommend this big time these chargers never let me down and even if it does is a good charger smart charger see right there i'll zoom it right there smart very very intelligent and smart i'm not getting paid for this uh, uh review but you know i just want to be grateful for this charger what this charge has done to my batteries and uh, now I'm already on 24 volt uh, battery bank I cannot use this one anymore but I still saved it but you know what I just found the 20 amp on this I'll still buy the 20 amp because you know something happened and maybe let me say my inverter just died my 24 volt inverter or what a uh, 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 um, a power inverter I would just roll back to the 12 volt and rewire the battery back into parallel and I can still use this battery on a very bad uh, 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 weather condition like winter and I don't have much summer uh, much much sun to charge my 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 solar dough doesn't have much sun to charge the batteries instead of uh, having a generator and uh, um, I don't have a generator then I can just use this one plug it to the grid and uh, Charge my batteries again. So always try to have these handy things around. Okay, please subscribe thumbs up and um, Share this video with friends and family 
and uh, to other subscribers and uh, you can put it in a circle and you can able to uh, share it in a network if you think this video is very important to you and makes sense is helpful give us a thumbs up comment and send me comments and um, your thoughts and all the best God bless have a wonderful day cheers